Please, someone help! These are human lives! That says wrong! They have families, children! They're our friends and we're watching them! Not subscribe. Cardi Kaizoku. We have a Katakuri mirror. Uh, I think we keep because of Arrow Sparrow in hand. Play pudding. Take a 10 mom, nice, we'll pass. Yeah, I ranted about this mirror in a bunch of footage that I couldn't use because I recorded the wrong screen. But yeah, this matchup pretty much comes down to who gets the most triggers and who has the most 10 cosmic moms, so it's all random. I put our leader for 5. That's why I don't like this mirror. It really is just RNG. Counter for 1, we'll play Perospero and pass. We really just need one more trigger than he gets. And that'll usually mean a victory for us. They attack with their leader for seven. Did I did that English just make sense right now? I'm so tired. Cause I this is my fourth hour of recording, because the first three hours were unusable. Take the seven K hit, no trigger. That's already bad news. Read on means their own pedal spero. Oh, I didn't even notice he played the Sanji out last turn. That's how tired I am. Well, I guess that makes sense. Sanji plays Sanji. Yep, they played the Perospero as we suspect. We'll swing with Perospero for 5. He gets a trigger. It's all over for us. Because we'll be ahead of us in triggers. We take, no trigger. Okay, we're even. Leader attack for 5. Counter for 2. We'll play Randolph and pass. Yeah, I want to fit 7k hits in with my leader, but I don't think I want to give up this curve. 3 into 5. Next turn I can, or I could play 7 mom. They do down leader, attack 7k into Perospero, I bet. We looked at our life. Get your eyes away. They left it at top. Perospero dies, we'll take at 2k. Perospero swings at us for 5, we'll counter for 1. Ooh, they swing with the Sanji as well. Counter this for one. Make them put two down on the Spero Spero, or maybe they'll just play another three cost. I don't think I want to let him get free 5k attacks in, so I, maybe I'll counter this 5k. But if it's a 7k, I'll let that go through. And he knows what's on top of our deck, or life. So it's probably something not scary. AKA not a trigger. Put one down on him. That makes us feel better about countering for two, which we'll do. Udon means nothing, right? This searcher pudding, and he just leaves it up. Alright, we have Peros Pero. So we'll swing Randolph 7k at Peros Pero. The Ikoku Sovereignty, wow. I was thinking of Don putting 3k Sanji and then 5k from our leader into theirs, but this changes it up a bit. We'll do Don leader and attack Peros Pero for 7. It was in the Mond, we'll put it on bottom. I think he dies now. Then we play Peros Pero and he can draw another card with Sanji, unfortunately. Ooh, they countered to save him for 3. We'll play Peros Pero and pass. I think you should be saving your counters for your big guys because they'll have to fight with my big guys in this mirror matchup. Because Perospero insta dies to like Katakuri later anyway. Which we're at the Dawn where that's like our next turn of play. We put down leader. Back 7k Randolph for us. They looked at their life and left it on top. Ooh, at our Randolph, we'll counter for one. We only have 2k counter left. Let's hope he doesn't try to go for our Randolph again. They play 7 mom. We'll give him a life. They attack for 5. We'll take Thunderbolt trigger. Let's kill the Sanji, I guess. Right, so they don't know what's on top of their life because we gave them a life, but they know the card right after that. We could put 7 mom. On the bottom. Sounds good. We'll do Randolph into Perospero for seven. He should die now. Go away. 
We don't want you here anymore. You heard me? Get! Go away! Why is it taking so long to resolve? Okay, he dies finally. Let's hope they don't find a 10 mom. They get a searcher pudding. Perfect. Down leader, attack them for 7. Top card of our life, Thunderbolt. But nothing really to kill. Put on bottom, I guess. They take. Oh, we should have left it on top in case they get like a trigger from these hits. My B will attack with Prospero for 8. They take. No trigger though. We'll play Katakuri, put Linlin on the bottom of their life and pass. I should have put her on top and then play Ten Mom, but nah. If you put her on bottom and they draw that as their last life card, that's not going to help them because it's zero counter. So yeah, bottom life I think was the right play. That leaves us with our Ten Mom to potentially get rid of a Peskier card on top of their life. They attack our leader with theirs for five, we'll counter for one, and then they'll play Ten Mom of their own. That's the only possibility after attacking for 5k, but this guy's taken a while to do it. They play Pudding, what the heck? What the hecky heck? Pick up a Strusen? What do you do with 9 Dawn? Why didn't he put any on his leader? Or maybe this matchup doesn't come down to purely RNG. Well, if both players are playing optimally, it is just an RNG fest. Second Pudding. They still have 8 cost Katakuri. I guess that's what they wanted to do. And try to find a 10 cost Big Mom. They get another 2k counter. They've only found 2k counters with their puddings. Yeah, no 10 moms. Take a Katakuri, our Katakuri. I think that's the best course of action. Otherwise, we have a 7, 8, and 8k attacker next turn that they'll have to defend against. But they do have a bunch of 2k counters in hand now. There's their 8 cost Katakuri, let's see what he puts. And where he puts it. Our Katakuri on top. Well if I take the life, I'll just put his Katakuri on the bottom. So I don't know if that- oh no. They're in- they're getting ready for a 10 cost Big Mom to discard our Katakuri. It seems like. We'll attack with our leader for 5. Counter for one, we'll attack with Randolph for seven. Yeah, we'll just heal all life, so whatever on top is get is what gets discarded. Counter for four or three? It's probably four, right? Three. Cross battle for eight. They'll counter this for four. They take Hiroshi trigger. How lucky. Lucky lucky. Ooh, they discard the ten mom. Do they have another in hand? Why would you? And a Thunderbolt. That one makes sense. I don't know about the 10 mom. We'll play ours. And pass, we get rid of their 10 mom. That's two gone. They play 10 mom, we lose the Strusen. That's their third one. I would like to get a second one somewhere. We have 3k counter. They attack 8k Katakuri. We can defend Randolph or Perospero. Into Randolph, we'll counter for two. They pass. They didn't attack with their leader? Oh, they just give up. Uh, awkward. Okay, bye. We have a Katakuri mirror. We'll go second in that case. Uh, we keep. And I don't have anything to play. Oh, we have Sanji. They pass with no plays. We'll do the same. We drop Sanji and then Randolph. Then mix something up until 10 cost Big Mom. They attack us with their leader for 5. We'll take. Spiro Spiro Trigger, don't mind if I do. I have to get rid of something good to play him. Get rid of a bench. Kind of unfortunate, but... They play their own Spiro Spiro and pass. We get a Thunderbolt that would have been nice to discard earlier. We'll attack with our Spiro Spiro for 5. We take. No trigger. Attack with our leader for 5. We counter for 1. Ooh, Vanilla Yamato. We'll play Sanjay and pass. I wonder why they play Yamato when we have uh, Randolph now. Same stat line, but Randolph is searchable by the Big Mom Pirate Searchers. 
Don Leader, Don Perospero, they attack Perospero with Perospero for 6, that's kinda hard to say. We'll counter for 2, then we'll let him die to Leader. Yeah. Let's see, ooh, another 10 mom. I think we'll need it. But they know we have it in hand. Um, the We'll swing 5k Sanji into Perospero. He has 3 down out, so maybe that he'll save him. Oh nope. Let's him die. Pick up uh, another Perospero. What are they gonna do with 3 Dawn? I don't know. Dawn leader attack him for 7. Top card of our life. Brule, keep it on top. But they know we left it on top, so maybe they'll put it on the bottom or something. Whatever. They take, no trigger, nice. We'll play Randolph and pass. We kinda have nothing to play next turn. We'll see, maybe we'll get something from top of our deck. They played that Perospero they searched last turn. Dawn leader attack 7k at Sanji, I bet. Yep, they moved our Brule to the bottom. That's fine. We want Brule at the end anyway. They play a Brule of their own and pass. We draw a Randolph, which is nice. I can tap? No, I can't tap anything with Amand. I guess we'll swing Randolph 7k at their leader. We take Maybe a Thunderbolt trigger, they're taking time to resolve it. It's a Charlotte Montdor trigger. You can KO a 3 cost, okay. I'm not going to play any more 3 cost from this point. So we'll do 3 down leader and attack him for 9. Look at our opponent's top card, ooh, you can have that Yamato. They block with Brulee, we'll play another Randolph and pass. Then our next two turns is probably going to be Big Moms. They play another Brulee. Four Don Perospero, one Don Montdor, one Don Leader. They're going to kill our Randolph. Yep. You can have him. The guy, right? What's a homie? So not sure. They attack our Leader with Montdor for one. For five, we'll counter for one. I said what was in my head before it came out of my mouth. They attack our leader for 7, and then they put their Yamato on the bottom. We'll take this. Perospero. Alright, so... Top card, we don't know what it is, but it may be like a beneficial card, since we know the bottom left card is a vanilla. So we'll Lin Lin right away, for that reason. We got rid of their Tenkos Big Mom, nice. Since we have another Lin Lin in hand, let's attack their characters. We'll attack Montdor with our leader for 5. Counter for 2, we'll attack Perospero with our Randolph for 7. Maybe they'll block with Brulee. But he lets him die. Pick up uh, another 3 cost Perospero, we'll pass. These two Thunderbolts in our hand, maybe Bricky. They attack us with their leader for 5, they have a 10 cost Big Mom, so we'll counter for 1. We get rid of our Thunderbolt trigger, that's not good. Right, we know that vanilla on the bottom, random card on top, so we'll play Big Mom to start again. Get rid of a 7 cost Big Mom. Attack their leader with Randolph for 7. They take. Oh, I forgot. We had leader to attack with for 5. We'll counter this for sure. Counter for 1, we'll attack with Lin for 12, they'll block with Brulee. Yep, we'll pass. Right, there's a 4 life difference here. This mirror really comes down to who has the most 10 cost big moms. They play their second one. They have only one more in their deck. We have two more somewhere. They attack Arlen then for 12. Counter for 2. That's their threat to our big moms for now. Attack us with the leader for 5. We'll take Hiroshi trigger. Get rid of. Oh, they disconnect because that's all they can do. We were going to win anyway. I was going to discard the two Thunderbolts and leave all the counter in our hand. Okay, well... I don't think I learned anything in that mirror. Okay, bye. Ooh, Katakuri vs Kid. Did not expect to find this matchup. We'll go second. We curve pretty nicely with this hand. Is it a Supernova Kid or a Film Kid? Bonnie does not differentiate that for us yet. We'll pass. We'll see what he plays after this to know what kind of deck he is. 
We attack for 5. We have 4 next turn. We can counter for 1k with Shirohoshi. Next turn is Brulee, Dawn Leader for us. We play Nami, it's a film kid. Dawn Leader, attack for 7. Brulee, trigger, nice. We'll keep it on top. They take. Uh, we'll play Brulee and pass. They were reading something, so maybe it was a Pun Gibson. Gonna keep that in mind. We attack with their leader for 5, we'll counter for 1k again. The Nami hit, I think we'll take. Ooh, they play a Hawkins, so they won't search with Nami just yet. But they attack with her anyway? Is that a wise idea? We'll take it. Will they trigger? Okay, we have Dawn Leader and attack Nami for 7. Top card of our life is a pudding, put her on the bottom. Pretty sure they'll save her, they need her. Nope, they let her die, so we'll play Randolph and pass. Hawkins, we can bottom life with Katakuri next turn. Right, we'll be at 8. So we're not gonna bother blocking him. Yep, they attack us for 7, we'll just take it. Get a Hoshi trigger, don't mind if I do. Get rid of 7 Mom and a Sanji. Yeah, I could put Shiro Hoshi back on top, but I think I want to get rid of the Hawkins. They attack with their leader for 6, we'll counter for 2. They play a Vanilla Zoro and pass with 1 Dawn up. We'll swing 5k at their leader. That was a 7 Dawn turn, but he didn't have a Luffy, I guess. If he didn't search with Nami or Bonnie. They take our 5k hit. Uh, maybe Punk Gibson trigger. Perhaps our Randolph. Nope. But we have two blockers, so we're pretty safe. We'll attack 7k into their leader. They counter for 3k. One of them was a Paradise Waterfall. We'll play Katakuri, put Hawkins on the bottom of their life, and pass. They activate Bonnie to pick up a 7 Luffy. They play it. Bring out a Brook. Is Brook breaking out a Nami? Or is it stopped there? Looks like it stopped there. They attack us with Zoro for 6. We'll counter for 2. They passed. They didn't swing with their leader. It's a free attack. Um, We'll do Don Shirohoshi and attack Bonnie for 1. Bonnie dies. We'll attack 8k into Zoro with Katakuri. Maybe he blocks Luffy and Paradise Waterfalls. This guy might be new, but he's playing pretty correctly so far. Nope, not there. He Paradise Waterfall to Zoro and he still died. I think he meant to block with Luffy first. We'll attack with Randolph for 7. Fake. Maybe I won't post this. Would be kind of mean. We have 3 down to spare if we play Pero Spero. So we'll do 3 down leader attack for 9. Vanilla Pero Spero, put him on the bottom. Take, play Perospero, replace Shirohoshi and pass. If they do something cool, maybe I'll end up posting this video anyway. Otherwise, might be kind of mean to post a video against a new player. They attack our leader with Brook for 5, we'll counter for 1. Uh, but I did waste 3 hours earlier on footage that I can't use. So I might have to just resort to using this footage. Cut that part out, you guys shouldn't have heard that. Hit hit. Two down leader makes him a 7. 7k at our leader, um, I guess we'll take one. 10 mom. They untap their leader with their leader ability, attack us again for 7, we'll block with the brulee. Do they attack with Luffy as well? Nope, they play vanilla Zoro. Could still attack, they do. Block with Brulee. They're out of blockers. We may. Oh, they have Paradise Waterfall for sure. We may have Lethal here. We'll attack with Randolph for 7 into their leader. They Paradise Waterfall and counter for 1 and untap their blocker. We'll attack 8k into their leader. They take. We'll 10 mom. And then we'll attack their leader for 5k with ours. Counter for 2, we'll attack Perospero into their leader. 
for eight. Maybe they have to block with Luffy. They block, maybe they counter for two. Yep, they do. We'll pass. But he's not new, he knows what he's doing. The misplay, I guess. Good on Brook. I guess they're gonna try to end. I guess for seven. Counter for three. Yeah, they have two other attackers and the leader can attack twice, so four other attacks. If they can all land, we lose. Bonzoro attack us for 7. Get a Perils Pedal trigger. We don't want to get rid of our 2k. We might have it. Yeah, he can attack with leader for 9k twice. Ooh, but he mixes Luffy and 8. Take. We get a pudding. I think we lose regardless. This last card has to be a counter, and I forgot what it was. We attack with the leader for 8. Ooh, it's a counter. Okay, we win. If they didn't put a down on this Luffy, we would have lost. They untap their leader attack for 8. Counter for 4. Yeah, this 8k Luffy hit saved us. They throw out the GG, we'll attack with Big Mom for 12. We win, okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.